So this is a demonstration of a multiplayer level editor. Uh, this is a proof of concept that I'm doing for my current project. And so we have uh, two players, black and gold. The gold player is going to be the level editor for now, and the black player is going to watch and test what the gold player does. So gold player, the black player is watching, as you can see, and the gold player is going to go into level editor mode. So can look around, can go pick some level geometry, and use this rock. And so we have this rock, and notice how I can move it up and down. Black player can see what's going on, and uh, it moves around. There's an update delay, but it ends up always matching, as I'll show later. And uh, we're going to make our first piece of level geometry. So currently, black player goes over here. There's nothing here, right? There's no collision. But um, we're going to create this object now. And now, black player goes over. This object exists now and can be jumped on top of. Right? So let's use, let's make a different rock. Let's use this rock. And where did the rock go? Where? I think it was too small. So when it was in the ground. So we're going to rotate this one. Notice how you can see it rotating in the, in the other player's view. Right? As I'm rotating in one camera, in one editor, and the other, the other player can see it. And we're going to make this object bigger in, in an asymmetric way. So I want to make it not that way, not that way. I guess that's one way. So notice it's asymmetric scaling, right? And we're going to asymmetrically scale it this way, okay? So this is kind of a strange looking asymmetric scaling, but it proves the point. <laughs> it's asymmetric. It's very non-standard, okay? So we, we made it very flat and wide, kind of like some kind of ramp. But you know what? Let's use a different texture. Let's use this one. And uh, so now we're going to make that a real object. And the other, player, the black player can test this. So the black player is like the tester, and the other player is actually like you know working on the level design. So with, with multiplayer level editor, one player can be testing what the other player is creating as they're creating it. And uh, but this player. The black player can also become a level editor, and you can have two people simultaneously doing level editing. So this player is going to create a whole bunch of, of small objects, and the other player, the other editor person is just going to watch because the other editor player is eating right now apparently, and uh, just wants to watch. But they're both in the editor mode at the moment. And if you notice, notice how when the the player who's doing the the moving of this builder brush thing she has a red border, a la the UDK. <laughs> um, but I turned off the HUD for the most part. Notice there's an update delay. So I'm moving it smoothly back and forth, but there's an update delay on the other end, which I'm deliberately enforcing because I want accuracy. So you might think, well, if this player moves really fast and creates objects, could it get out of sync? Let's find out. So I did the code so that would never happen, so watch. So I'm going to try to make objects as fast as I can, Let's see if they get out of sync. I'm clicking as fast as I can, and it's all smooth on my end, but what about the other player's screen? Look! They match. It's a little hard to prove at this angle. So let's stick this one over here, and that one over here. But if you look carefully, they actually do match. So, let's see if I can. So look, those two are exactly the same, right? And so even though there was an update delay, because of the way I wrote the code, they always end up matching because the server is controlling everything. So even though this player gets to edit in, it, in his own real-time or her, her real-time happiness, the end result is actually still perfect, even though there's an update delay. So this means that even though there's a network connection, both editors can uh, an op can operate as if they were by themselves, do things as fast as they want, and as fast as it would be in single player, but you end up with the world matching. And this world hasn't even been saved yet, but it's already matching. I didn't have to do any corrections, because if you do the code right the first time, you don't have to correct anything later. So that is showing that aspect and notice both both players are doing level editing the other player could come along and say you know what this is great mister or miss i like to click very fast but we need a different texture 
And so while you're making them, I'm going to change them over to a different texture. They need to be black, right? So while the other player is making them, this player can go around changing the texture on some of them. Well, and just imagine that the other the editor is actually still making different objects. So they could be totally tag teaming this and doing things at the same time. And let's suppose the this the other editor says, you know, this one needs to go up, right? And this one needs to go over. And uh, this one needs to go over here, right? And the world is matching. Oh, let's change its color, right? And so all these changes have now shown up for the for the first editor. So everything's fine, right? Except the first editor was a little too excited to note that it was a little off the ground, but that happens. So you might be wondering, well, this is great. But can you save it in a multiplayer context? And you can. So we're going to call this um, Light. So that's the name of the map. It's called Light because it just felt like it. And now we're going to exit. And going to relaunch. Again, this is a dedicated server and two clients set up. And so now. And pay very careful attention to this, please. One player is going to load the level, and the other player is going to edit it and then save it. And you'll see why this is entertaining in a second. So black player was one player, and the other player is silver. So black player is going to load the level, which was called light. Right? So notice the level is loaded. And if you go in game, it's a bit of a maze at this point. If you go in game, everything is as it was before. Collision is present. Everything is fine, right? And there was this one that we put over here that was sort of on top of everything else. Now, so black player loaded the level, but silver player is going to make an edit. And um, let's make an edit. We're going to add this big fancy object to the level and then save it again. Okay. So we have this big fancy object. We're going to rotate it. And we're going to give it a nice blazingly intense indicator of its existence. Now the name of the level is becoming more clear. The name of the level is light. <laughs> so there's this nice blazing tunnel. We're going to make it, right? So the silver player, remember this is the silver player, Silver player is the one who who made this edit. The other client loaded the level on the server, but the silver player made this addition, and now the silver player is going to save it. Because imagine that the black player got disconnected after the game started. So the black player said, here's my level, loaded it, and then got disconnected due to a lightning storm. Now this player is the only one who remains to carry on the mission, and this player added this one object change and changed its material, and now, save the level, even though the other player was the one who loaded it. And let's suppose that the the other player can reconnect at a later date, so we relaunch. I closed, I closed the entire game, now I'm relaunching. The reason I can keep reloading the level is because it's being saved using basic save object, something I talk about in a different tutorial. But let's suppose the, the player who got disconnected respawned is now a red player, and said, oh boy, what happened while I was gone? Because the other player went to bed. Uh, the other editor went to bed. And now, watch what happens. We're going to load the map. And it's like, oh, okay, I see everything. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow, what's that? <laughs> right? And then here it is. And you can move the player starts. So here's red player. We're going to move red player's starting point. Where's red player? Red player is over here. So we're going to move the red player's starting point to be over here. Because the red player wants to start right by this nice big arch. Where is the red player? <laughs> I think I got a little confused. Let's see. Let's go find the red player. Did I move red player too high? There's red player. How did red player get all the way over there? So let's see. Here's red player. Okay, so red player is going to start right in front of this arch, and red player is going to start facing. I'm having window issues. <laughs> Red player is going to start facing sideways, right? So red player goes in game and is facing sideways, and here it is, right? So notice I moved the player starting point, and there's four player starting points. And now this one starts here and is facing this nice happy arch. Now we're going to save that, and again quit. And the reason I keep quitting is to show you that 
this, as I was saying, the reason I keep quitting is because sometimes your video stops. <laughs> now, you, you know, because in real life, when you're making a level and you're doing it in a multiplayer context, you can't do the whole thing in one sitting. But I want to just demonstrate that all the changes we've made have been saved. So this this particular player is going to load the level. It's called Light, right? And look, both players get the fully updated level. And notice that this player is now well, it's his player starts stuck on something. The silver. Where's I can't even find the silver player starting point. Where's silver player? So silver player is stuck on the old geometry. So we're gonna move silver player over here. So silver player is over here now. Uh, that's not the silver player. This is the silver player. So both players, both of those players, have now been moved away from all these exciting blue things. So this player can now load, and now silver player is fine, right? And uh, all is well. But this player was the red player. Remember, we moved the red player's starting point, so watch this. The red player goes in games, facing sideways, right by the light arch, just like from the previous video. So all the level changes have been saved. All these things have collision. These two players together have made a level, which is a little bit wonky looking, but hey, it's just a demo. Everything is, is, it's a fully actual world that they're sharing. And you just watched me exit and reload it several times. This is a fully functional multiplayer level editor. And, um, it works. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, this is my demo of a multiplayer level editor system.